New here tonight from the ABC7 I team. Questions about a labor union controlled by a known Chicago mob figure. The union local president pleaded not guilty today to federal fraud charges. And Eyewitness News investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy joining us tonight with new details. Kathy, in the late 1990s, when John Pudgy Matasso was bounced from the laborers' union because of his connections to the Chicago outfit, authorities say he managed to stay in the union business by opening a local office of the Amalgamated Workers' Union. This afternoon, Matassa pleaded not guilty to a 10-count federal indictment, and the union Matassa runs is very difficult to find. 65-year-old Pudgy Matasso was difficult to miss as he left federal court about 90 minutes ago, freed on his own recognizance. Matassa's Amalgamated Workers Union, Local 711, is not nearly as easy to spot. According to this latest U.S. Labor Department record signed by Matassa, the union has 189 members, charges dues of $40 per month, and has less than $2,000 in net assets. Matassa's records state that the address of the union is 119 South Emerson in Mount Prospect. That address is where Matassa states that the organization's records are kept. That address does exist here in northwest suburban Mount Prospect. However, the address of 119 South Emerson is a UPS mailbox store, not a union headquarters. His union has been using that address for its official business for several years. The Amalgamated Workers Union has no website, the local has no apparent street presence or office, and is not listed as a member of the Chicago Federation of Labor, nor is it listed in the University of Illinois' Library of Labor Unions in the state. Matassa pleaded not guilty to charges of wire fraud, theft of government funds, embezzlement from a labor organization, and making false entries in union records, allegations that he put his wife in a ghost payroll job with the union to dummy up his own early retirement. He left court today without comment, driven away by his wife, who is not charged in the case. According According to a 2015 IRS filing, the Amalgamated Workers Union stated that its purpose was to, quote, organize all workers for the economic, moral, and social advancement of their condition and status. The government is asking that Mr. Matassa's economic role with the union be curtailed during criminal proceedings. Federal Judge Matthew Kennelly has not yet decided on that. Thanks, Chuck.